We're on a train to Sheffield to get on another train to go even further north to the new Jam HQ. I'm surprised I got here actually because all the trains were cancelled. We don't even have bikes with us. Weird. We're in Sibbies, the opposite of the Nullarbor. I know, I mean, we've kind of like... How are your legs? They're still squidgy, they still kind of work. I'm going to an osteopath on Thursday. To... Do you miss Australia? Yeah. Yeah, me too. Yeah, so just go back. We go to somewhere that's like us, well basically as warm as Australia, but not Australia, Cow Bay. I have a present for you, Mr. K. Congratulations on your epic ride, Katie. It's been so long. How are oh, we? Dear, it hasn't really, has it? It hasn't. Not no. Oh, darling. We're all in jackets. It's all sports. Oh. Hey, we've all got different brands. Oh. No, we don't. We're, we're, oh, we're yeah. It's actually closed. Yeah. Is this a famous bike rack that George made on his YouTube channel? Yeah. That's wow. That it works really nicely. Yeah. It does. Did you just make it out of wood? Just out of wood, mainly. You're right, buddy. This is the sofa from the old Jam HQ. And this is where I'm going to have a sleep. Now. <laughs> Let's snore that loud. Let's go up. Let's go up the valley. Where are we going? We're going the long way to the pub. Via the waterfall. Uh, so firstly, welcome to the new Jam HQ. Pretty cool new location for George and Jess. First port of call, bit of a walk. Not what me and Chris are good at, to be honest. It's like cycling, but slower. Here in the north, you can walk in the middle of the road and no one cares. George, is that <laughs> you got a pub 50 meters from your house. Yeah, well, how long did that take, 45 seconds? I'm on close enough for you, George. It's, uh, it's just close enough, just. <laughs> when you buy somewhere, you're gonna buy a pub, aren't you? I'm just gonna buy the room above, it's one room. Fireman's pole down to the pub. Yeah, yeah. Rope out the window, I don't really care. <laughs> day in, day out, in my life. Fade in. So it's very important and very nice to do some non-bike stuff every now and then, even though it's pretty weird not having our bikes with us and being around such amazing roads, especially after doing a trip as intense as the Australia one. It's just nice to have a bit of a break. Chris has been completely off the bike since getting back from Oz because he's had a bit of an injury. His calf that was playing up on like day 17. I've been running some errands, so I have been on the bike and been on the fixed gear as well. So it's been a little bit intense when I've been climbing local hills and stuff. I'm trying to keep the volume to a minimum. Legs are feeling all right though, working uh, different muscles to usual, which is a bit weird. I'm sure I'll be very sore tomorrow. We're heading up to a local sort of viewpoint near there, near these guys' new house. And uh, apparently there's a waterfall up here as well. Where actually are we? Because I haven't got a clue. Where? Yeah. Yeah. Near Sheffield. Uh, we're in the middle of the Peak District. If you drop a pin in the middle, we're about there. Okay. Edale, about 25 minutes from Sheffield, 25 minutes from Manchester. On, nice. the, on the way up around the side of a hill called Kinder Scout, where all this water runs down from. Up there, up there, and there's a big one coming down here. It's mega. It is great. This is all like much more scrambling. I could have put my water filter in, could have got a drink. You wouldn't need a filter, you'd drink straight out of the river. Are you stuck? Yeah. I stay here. This is my island. No Brexit on that <laughs> island. He's staying part of Europe. Yeah, nice and slow going down. We don't report to the jam. <laughs> How's your FTP? You're as tired as me. No, I'm alright actually. Oh, I go for a walk every day, don't I? Like, unlike you. Yeah, in Shoreditch, not like up a mountain like this. It's not on. Yeah, it's a big one. Like a German dive bomber. Yeah. <laughs> one of the certificates you get for completing the Pennine Way, which is what starts here. It's like a long walk. It's like a really long walk. Have you done it? No. It's 250 miles on your feet. Very photogenic. 
Mm. It's the morning. Where are we going now? Top of the hill. Mam Tor, going up top of Mam Tor. Uh, that's one of the 100 climbs ones, isn't it? Yeah, and it's where they've got the University Hill Climb Championships this weekend. Are you allowed to compete if you're not a university student? No. No, no we can come and shout. We're going to come and shout at them. Yeah, can you ride up this? Okay, so this bit's really hard. That's a good valley. Yeah, nobody else has the name on it, so just put my name on it. So as usual, our efforts are rewarded. Check it out, amazing. Good weather conditions, there are super strong winds and the cloud, you can just see it moving. I just always think of Teletubby Land. <laughs> what do you mean, that's a real place? This is, this <laughs> is Teletubby Land. This is where they film it. Yeah. The Teletubbies are actually like 15 feet tall. And this is like, if you look at the scale of it, that's why, no, they're just fucking massive. Oh. 15 foot tall Teletubbies. Uh, so this is freezing cold. Yeah. Things we do to sell shirts. <laughs> Buy a K t-shirt. Jess is ill and she's doing this. She's doing this for you. What you doing? Do you want to have a sale? <laughs> End of summer sale. End of season sale. Because once World Championships are done, once those last couple of races are done, like the weird ones, and we've now got a gap for them until what, like, Dubai. So let's have an end of season sale. Well, we're going home. You can deal with all that. Okay, I'll deal with that on the laptop. You go home. Well, on the, on the tuck shop. On the tuck shop down below. Oh, on the tuck shop down below. Right now. Right. Yeah. On everything. Everything. Ev on everything. On everything. On everything that's in stock will be on sale. Yeah. Even my t-shirts. Thing. Well, whew. on the new ones. <laughs> yeah. Probably not actually. Treat yourselves. Treat yourselves. Treat yourselves. When's our train? Are we late. <laughs> It's that time of year again. It's that time of year again. Ruler Classic. The lineup on the stage is crazy good this year. And, uh, and Villa have got a stand. I'm going to be hanging out there on Thursday. It always surprises me how much travelling takes out of you. Nice couple of days at the new Jam HQ. Caught up on a bit of work. No bikes whatsoever. Feeling tired, but refreshed at the same time. As I said, Ruler Classic coming up next week. Should be some nice bits of bike porn we can check out there. But in between that, Red Bull's 25 hour race time lapse is on. I am not going to be racing it because we haven't recovered properly from Australia. And it is mega fatigue. I think myself, Daisy, Lawrence and Chris are going to drive down and make some videos at the event anyway. Maybe not as fun as riding it, but forecast looks like it's going to rain anyway. Anyway, as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow.